You break it down some of the data as we get closer to what will be a, eventually a forecast for our area. What do we know at this point? Yeah, Chris, we're starting to dig into those long range forecast trends as we're now just a little over two weeks away from the total solar eclipse and we can look at what is normal or climatology and that helps shed some light as to what you can expect for viewing conditions. I want to examine not only what is normal here at home in Toledo, but also across a good portion of the United States and some of those major metro areas that will be in totality. Early April is often a weather card, a wild card weather wise, and we do typically see mainly cloudy conditions. Our normal high temperature is just shy of 60 degrees, not only in Toledo, but also in Cleveland. Temperatures typically top out in the mid to upper 50s. Out towards Indianapolis, temperatures are typically a little milder, being further to the south. And one city that is in totality that has a high probability of sunshine, that is Dallas, Texas, with a normal high of 75 degrees. Generally speaking, areas in the southwestern United States, and there are quite a few major metros in Texas, Texas that will be in the path of totality. They have the best chance of sunshine across the Great Lakes in the Midwest. We'll call it fair to poor further to the south down towards Indianapolis, Carbondale, Illinois, to name a few spots. They typically average partly sunny skies here in the Great Lakes region. Cloud cover is a bit more commonplace. That being said, we can still enjoy brilliant sunshine just like today in early April and last year is a perfect case study. Toledo and Cleveland both had crystal clear skies. Temperatures we a bit cooler than normal down towards Indianapolis 62 degrees and ironically it is Dallas that was overcast that day last April 8th temperatures in the 70s the year prior was a total 180 degree difference there were showers in Toledo Cleveland and Indy and Indianapolis actually saw fog and mist those conditions would certainly not be ideal for eclipse viewing and Dallas Texas was bright brilliant and sunny on that April 8th 2022 typically our sky is 60 to 70 percent cloud covered in early April However, as we start to hone in on those trends, we'll keep our fingers crossed and we'll stay tuned to what the computer models are indicating uh, right now. Chris, it does look like it's going to be a little bit cooler for the tail end of March into early April, even though we do have a brief warm up, at least for the start of next week. You know, John, by about this time next week, though, that 10 day forecast is going to be getting very close to showing April 8th. Yeah, we're getting really excited about that forecast and you know the cloud cover and precip. That's one of those variables that's a little harder to project, uh, but we're going to have a good deal of confidence about the temperature trend right. starting next week. I can't wait, John. We've uh, been looking forward to this one for months and months, and we hope to deliver on a bright, sunny day just like today. Meteorologist John Birchfield, appreciate that update. 